Hi everyone, uh, I've never done a talking video before, um, but I finished one weekly insert in my traveler's notebook. I wanted to share a flip through, um, but without any words, or at least captions, it's just flipping pages without context, so here it goes. Um, I'm sorry about the accent. I'm not a native speaker. I'll do my best. Uh, I'm sure you'll understand, but let's try and do this, okay? Uh, so at this moment, I moved into uh, the olive. Uh, it's new for me. I wanted to try out the leather. Uh, I usually use this camel one for my weekly insert. Uh, so right now it just holds a blank one, it's taking a little rest. I will be moving back into it after my summer vacation. At that point the olive uh, will become my everyday carry. I will use it as a wallet. So let's see that weekly insert. I'm doing this with one hand because I don't know how to set up this uh, phone for filming videos. The standard doesn't work, so blah blah. Let's go. Uh, I just moved the stuff I had in here to here. Nothing changed, just different leather. I love the olive, by the way. Uh, I bought it used uh, from a nice lady in... Um, she's in Italy, so she sent it to me and uh, gosh, it's, it's gorgeous. So this is the plastic folder let me just move this let's do it like this huh you'll see okay um my desk is tiny you can see there's just the tray some flowers up ahead flow book uh, this holds my letters okay i'm going all over the place so <laughs> the insert uh, the PVC, PVC folder just holds some pretty stuff, uh, pictures, that's my kids, me and my husband. This is uh, the craft folder, just some notepaper, or oh, I love uh, Aiko Fukawa. I, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, so forgive me, but uh, her illustrations are adorable. This is from the flow book, this also. So inside the PVC, PVC folder, oh my god, my accent is just all over the place, uh, the craft folder, random stuff, stickers, that's practically it, you can see it's shabby as it is, so I started this, uh, I think December, I didn't want to wait till January, because I'm impatient, uh, okay, front page, just a little decoration, Maria, uh, we are planner at Instagram, brought her bear stamps with her when she visited Zagreb, so I stamped all over the place, of course. Um, I just left this blank because I didn't know how to use it, and here we go, yes, it's December. So I started with using a lot of inks with Dabber, just doing some stencil work, just following kind of a color scheme here and there. This is from Happy Mail from Sana. She's uh, on Instagram also. I will uh, try and link it down below everything I mentioned so you can give a follow. They're cool. Cool girls, Maria and Sana. Uh, okay, December goes on. Just again some colors I like. Uh, I tend to gravitate a lot towards reds, yellows, browns, vintage colors, greens, something with a warm, awesome feel. Uh, I don't know, just something that appeals to me, but I experiment a lot. So you see here a lot of pinks, and um, that's why I don't like this spread. Uh, there's no, I don't know what to call it, balance. I'm just not happy with it, but it is what it is. Uh, this is more my style. Papers, la layering, washi, it's just a big mess, but it's okay. 
Uh, this is from the Traveler's Factory, Traveler's Company, that um, little paper they have. Um, my brother-in-law visited Japan. He landed in Narita and uh, when I heard about it, I was like, uh, you have to go to that store, it's near McDonald's on this and this floor and you have to buy me this, this, this and this. I <laughs> did get this insert from there and uh, this press tag, I love it. So he bo uh, also brought me this uh, newspaper, so I kind of tear off little pieces of paper from it and use it to journal, to decorate. Uh, New Year's, yes, here we go. So January started here. Um, I kind of try to practice brush lettering. And uh, I love those birdies. All I have are samplers for now, but I hope to get a full roll soon. Uh, okay, January goes on again from the Traveler's Company newspaper, those little uh, cutouts to use as decorations and this is where I decided decided to try my best to learn to carve stamps. I'm still learning, having fun with it, but that's where it all began. Uh, January and we had a little trip to Graz in Austria uh, to visit our uh, brother-in-law, sister-in-law and their kids. We had fun. So there's a little travel sticker. Oh, I love this spread. Uh, this is a cutout from a book. Uh, I can link it down below. It has gorgeous illustrations. So I enjoy putting little animals here and there. Uh, okay, this is something my husband does from time to time. <laughs> it's cute, but uh, he messes with my desk and uses my supplies and puts little doodles and stuff. And you see the stamps, not in alphabet al alphabetical order. So, yeah, it's cute, but okay. <laughs> uh, February. Uh, okay, this is where I applied to be... Um, to get a chance to be a part of the stationary selection design team. So, this quote here is me trying to send out positive vibes to the universe. I was dwelling in the possibility it would be fun. I thought something new to try. I admire Mitz. I've been uh, following her on Instagram and YouTube forever. So, she's kind of like a role model. I, I don't know how to call it, but I, I think she's a lovely lady, a pleasure to work with, and um, yeah, it's great. I I did get a chance to become a part of the design team member, so here I am. Um, February goes on. Uh, these are the first flowers I tried carving out of rubber, so I used them for the background. Uh, again, cutouts from a book, some stamping. A lot of words, um, again, layering a little watercolor here and there. Um, I track my incomings and outgoings. Uh, this is mostly in Croatia, so it doesn't matter, just uh, bits and pieces of my life and weekly schedule. Uh, but yeah, post office, happy mail, I track it here appointments for my boy uh, at eventually at the doctors or if there's something we need to do but mostly memories uh, I like this spread uh, even though it's a mess of oh, William Morris pattern paper just some bits I saved I save a lot of scraps I have a whole box full of it but it comes in handy I like to Put a pop of color here and there. Uh, birdie stamps I tried carving, so I kind of documented here and there. Oh, this is uh, a try in collaging. Uh, I did fussy cut this out of a magazine. It took me like half an hour. It's hilarious. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Just too intricate. But I like the... I like the look 
the word is from another piece of paper so I try tangling it oh this this little flower uh, Sana carved it she does uh, such pretty stuff she's uh, amazing at carving stamps you can take a look at her feed she did a stamp a day challenge for herself there's some lovely stuff to see there see there it is again pretty flower oh this is from the brass tag I found that piece of paper somewhere in the scraps so I had to use it uh, okay this is um, simple planner challenge um, we kind of had this idea uh, Maria we planner started it uh, to uh, have a challenge for ourselves in March to use different theme themes for uh, every week so week one was uh, just one pen or two pens I don't remember one color and that's it so I did this kind of uh, vertical daily thingy here an illustration and a quote so it's nice clean and simple not my style at all I didn't have fun doing this I had fun doing doodling this but this is mm, I don't know not me uh, okay so this is the thing this pen bled through the other side of the page so I skipped it and week two is you see 11th 12th the way week two is here uh, there was I think only a washi and one pen allowed so that's just what I did again the birdies I love the birdies a uh, little practice on hand lettering and this is week three uh, collaging was allowed yay <laughs> so uh, those deers are gorgeous from that same book uh, I did uh, start using classic -y weekly memo papers here I love the way uh, it looks on a background uh, so yeah that's just one handy um, way to switch things up this birdie is gorgeous I get excited about silly things like little book cutouts and birdie illustrations or crinkly paper layered on top of other papers just um, I don't know paper lover thing maybe crazy I don't know I don't know uh, okay this is the end of March the last week was uh, do whatever you want so I did just that uh, it's a um, this is all one spread uh, this is again that classic weekly paper um, I did lila inspired uh, flowers you uh, paint loosely some flowers on uh, paper cut it out okay phone died uh, sorry uh, this is uh, getting quite long so I'll try to hurry up a bit so uh, this is the last week of March um, so uh, everything was allowed uh, I played with the lila inspired flowers I mentioned and this is just um, like a memory keeping spread uh, this is my dog uh, and some memories from Happy Mail from uh, Skylar she's also on the design team so we exchanged a letter and some bits and pieces of paper uh, so we have a little memory of our design team work together and get to know each other a little better uh, so that's it for March uh, April again uh, Lila inspired flowers I couldn't stop making them uh, it's just such a fun process and uh, check out uh, her feed I will again link it below this video so you can take a look on Instagram uh, she's an amazing artist and does this gorgeous flowers uh, I can only try to make them my own but uh, you can see there are cutouts I love the way it um, it pops off the paper so uh, this April started with a lot of color so what's it with the focus okay uh, so the flow, flow book for paper lovers uh, this is um, the spread where uh, I gathered up the courage to finally start cutting it up uh, 
decently and using all this stuff because there's no use in hoarding. Uh, I wanted the book for so long I I didn't know spend in February to save up for it so yeah it's it's a pleasure to use and um, have fun with it. Um, well, these little papers are fun. They're, um, they can be cut up to little squares so I types on them. Um, Oh, I started pressing flowers. Um, it's something I want to do for a long time. I had to wait for spring for some nice flowers to press. And uh, these are nice, you see. Uh, they're fragile. I glued them up um, carefully uh, with a tape runner. It holds up, but you have to be careful. It's, it's closed, so it won't go anywhere, but um, it's delicate. Uh, yeah, typing on papers is a, it's a fun thing to do. Uh, so April, uh, the last week of April, I think. Oh, uh, this is uh, also an uh, inspired spread. I did like a copycat thing. Um, I will link um, uh, the profile down below so uh, you can check it out. Uh, she's an amazing uh, watercolor artist. Uh, she does lovely weekly spreads and watercolor paintings. So be sure to check it out. I wanted to do this kind of spread for such a long time. So uh, I sent her a message asking if it's okay to do like a, like a copy copy the artist thing and uh, I did it. It's not nearly as gorgeous as, uh, as uh, her spreads but uh, uh, it was lovely giving it a try and uh, making it my own in a way. Um, this first week of May I was on vacation with my family, husband and uh, son. Uh, I uh, used uh, all the supplies that Sana sent me in uh, her happy mail. Uh, I kind of decided to pack minimal, uh, so I only brought this little um, cute folder from IKEA. She packed it full of goodies, uh, washi samples, paper bits, uh, paper pads. So I used also her birdie rubber stamps uh, she cut for me. Uh, I. I adore them, so here they are. You can take a look. I mounted them on uh, pretty wood, so mm, this one's just a test one from me, but these three she made, and uh, I love using them. So that's a spread from uh, her supplies. So when we got back home, um, I did receive some happy mail and uh, used bits and pieces from those envelopes and uh, some supplies I got, um, some new ink pads uh, I purchased, so I had to try it out with stencils, uh, some new washi, and uh, a lot of words, yeah, I guess I had a lot to say, uh, which was not the case in this week. So pressed flowers again, stamps, uh, you can see it's a lot, a lot simpler, but um, I like the colors I use, I'm, I'm really okay with this spread, this is something I, I really enjoy doing uh, lately. Oh, and the colors, uh, this is, um, this was my son's birthday week, um, so you can see happy birthday, and it was our wedding anniversary so something bright colorful again flow papers and oh uh, I got this in the May uh, stationery selection subscription box uh, it's origami paper but I used it as a background because yay birds I love birds so but you probably already know that um, okay uh, watercolors on this paper is gorgeous uh, so I Plop down some color, a little sticker here and there, some uh, stamping, uh, memories, tickets, happy mail stuff, just, um, I don't know, everything. <laughs> but uh, this is the week of end of May, beginning of June, and yeah, I kind of like it. 
and that's it this is the last week it's not finished it's today is uh thursday see nothing written yet um i kind of cut a little break in the day so decided to film it now even though it's not finished uh, i will be quite busy in the next couple of weeks and i'm going on vacation so just so you know this is pre-recorded um so I have time to edit it and upload it. Okay, seven minutes in. Oh God, I'll have to cut some stuff out um, to make this watchable. Um, thank you uh, for listening to me ramble and talk about the stuff I enjoy, uh, the stuff that inspires me. Uh, you people on YouTube and Instagram inspire me. You got me started on this journey. I'm having fun. It's therapeutic and it's enjoyable. It's a nice pastime and memories to keep forever. So thank you for that. Uh, thank you for watching, for stopping by my channel. Um, give this video a like if you liked it. If not, you have the other button. Don't press it. <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you. Um, I had fun filming this. Uh, I hope you. I hope you had fun watching. So until next time, bye bye.